Alright guys, so welcome back. This is the last video of my Redux tutorial playlist and in this video, like I said in my previous video, uh, we are going to changing our code. By the way, as you can see in here, if I open the maybe post list component, I'm using class based component. Post detail, I'm using class based component, add post and a class based component what we are going to do now is we are going to change that using a functional based component and we are going to dealing with use selector and use dispatch hook so yeah before that i just want to show you a little quick let's scroll down in add post component i'm directly pasting this action right here okay we don't need that we need to create action in uh, another file so i want to create a folder in store folder right here so let's create actions actions and inside the action folder i want to create a file let's do post action dot js all right so by the way, in here, I just want to create a function that return the action right here. So how do we do that? Just do export and cons. Let's do add post. Add post that that equals to arrow function. And in here, I just want to do is return this thing right here. Just cut that out and put in here it should be have parameter which is the post right here like that okay so let's go to post detail in here we have the action again this is the delete post so let's create another function right here i can just copy this and paste right here and just change that to delete post and i want to where is that just cut that out and paste right here should we have a id and so now save you can export this function to this uh, component so let's do right here we can do import from dot dot slash wait um from dot dot slash store slash action slash post action and we are going to import the delete post right here so of course we can use inside in here okay we can use that so delete post is take a id parameter so we can send id right here so save that and let's go to add post we need to do something in here so let's just copy this thing right here and i want to paste in here wait like that and should be add post and we can copy that and just paste in and dispatch right here wait oh, what happening just typing that at post and i want to send the post like that so now save should be uh, do the same thing all right so our app should be work post one let's try that this is post one submit here it is it's working so now what we are going to do is let's go to post list i'm going to try to change this class based component into functional based component so let's get rid of this class keyword we need to use cons and we don't need to extend component we need to say equals to arrow function and of course we don't need the render right here we don't need the ending tag right here 
and just get rid of this component right here so let's scroll down i want to remove this thing right here we don't need that anymore so we need to directly export the function in here and we don't need the connect right here what we need to import from react redux is basically use selector okay so what we need to do in here is we can use selector and grab the state and we grab the state dot post okay as you can see in post.reducer what we have to do is access the state dot post so that's why we use selector state state dot post okay if i console.log the post it should be have the post right here where is that right here which is empty array so if i save now it should be work just fine but as you can see in here in the terminal we have some error uh so let's open the home page uh we don't import in default so let's make that like that here it is so let's see in the final project refresh and everything is work now just fine so let's try this is post one okay it's, it's, it's still working okay but as you can see in here it's less of code so it's easy to read and easy to maintain okay so let's make that yeah here it is so now let's go to post detail uh, right here we need to change that to functional best components so we need to get rid of this class we can use cons and we can export that right here and just remove this thing right here we need to say equals arrow function and we don't need the component up here let's remove that and of course we don't need the render and close render tag and just make that look cool so we can do like that and of course we don't need this raw here so what we are going to import from react redux now is use dispatch because we are going to dispatch this uh, function which is delete post function okay so uh if if you want to read something from uh state right here you need to use use selector if you want to dispatch uh, action from the action right here okay you can use use dispatch okay so let's import use dispatch from react redux and what we can do now in here is uh so let's get rid of this and as you can see in post list we're sending the post right here to, uh, right here to post detail right so now post detail have the post the individual post right here okay so post detail we need to grab the post like that so now if i try to console.log the post we should see empty array but i want to just go to post reducer i want to add uh, just dummy data in here just go id one title post one and content this is post one okay just want to see i just want to see the output in my console okay i just want to copy this thing right here just make it a bit just copy that and paste down here say to pose to wait this is post to okay so save and go go back to home page uh, remember we don't import with 
export default so we need to grab the add post with curly braces uh, so let's go to no right here okay in post list yeah right here okay so let's go back to post detail and let's try to see now we have by default to cart right here so let's go to inspect and go to console as you can see in here we have a two object the first is uh, post one this is post one id one and second is post two id two this is post two okay all right so of course we can access the title by typing post dot title we have the post one that's why this is work so we get the post one right here okay so let's get rid of this console right here all right so now what we can do is i want to create the cons and say dispatch set it equals to use dispatch like that so i can wrap the function right here this action inside a uh, dispatch so we can do dispatch and paste in the delete post function inside in there so save and let's take a look in here we can delete that delete and it's working but now we using a functional best component is less of code and easy to read and yeah i think you should using functional best component right now so let's close this and let's go to add post all right so in here uh, when we scroll down we using dispatch right so we need to import a use dispatch from react redux okay so we can do use dispatch like that and we need to just change this class right here to cons at post and it should be arrow function and we need to remove the render method and the close tag as well so we need to remove this thing right here like that and we need to export that like so okay so let's get rid of this component right here we don't need that uh, because we are going to using state so we need to import use state from react so we use state like that and let's get rid of this and in here we can use cons and i'm going to create post and set post so that it goes to use state and i'm going to create object inside in here so we give id empty and title say empty and content say empty uh, of course you can use uh for example id you, you create set set id and you state uh, by default empty string you can create another cons in, in here you can create cons uh, title set title use equals to use state and empty string and again you can create cons content set content but i just want to create something like this in functional pass component of course we need to give a cons right here like that and let's go to the where is my form like this we don't need the this keyword and right here i think we just Control D and get rid of this this keyword. Okay, so now save. Let's go to home page right here. Uh, should be inside a curly braces. So save. Okay, so what is that? State is not defined. So let's go to add post right here. Uh, now 
we need to remove the state. Uh, where's that? State right here. We need to remove that. Like so. Because now we can access the default value by go to post.id if you if we want to access the ID. If we if I want to access the title, I can do post.title. That's why I'm using in here post.title. Alright. In handle things right here, we need to get rid of this everything in here. What we are going to do is set post and I want to grab the entire post and I want to get the a dot target dot value and set that into a dot target dot value. No, it should be name, which is right here. Uh, every input we have name. Okay, title and content. All right. And in the handle submit, let's go right here. Edit prevent default is it's fine. Uh, okay, this thing right here. We need to use dispatch, so we can do right here. Just do under in here. So we can do cons dispatch. So that equals to use dispatch like that. And we can use this dispatch right here inside the handle submit. So let's get out of this right here. Add post and we need to send post, which is the entire post we have in here. Okay, we need to send in add post. We don't need this keyword. So let's get rid of this. Uh, should be set post and just get rid of this post right here. Um, where is the ending? Um, right here. Yeah. Okay. Say post and we set the ID into the UUID title to empty, content to empty. Okay. I think. It's done, so let's save and let's take a look in here. So if I delete that, delete it's working. So let's add post one. So this is post one. Submit, it's work. Let's uh, say post three. This is post three. Okay, that's working, but now we using a functional best component. It's, it's more easy to read and it's easy to un understand. Uh, just make that look like this. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. And if you want to download this code, I put link in the description below. So again, I hope you learned something new in this video. And yeah, if you like this video, please give a like and don't forget to click the subscribe button because yeah, I just starting out my YouTube channel. So I'm going to see you in the next video and as always guys, bye.